I would like us to acknowledge that the land we are meeting on today has long been the site of meeting and exchange for the indigenous peoples of the Lenape Nation, also called the Delaware Indians by settlers, as well as the peoples of the Haudenosaunee. As we talk together today, we honor and respect the indigenous peoples connected to this territory on which we gather. Not so long ago, a group of villains set out to erase a people by stealing their story and rewriting it. You see, the villains thought they had to do this in order to exist. The villains murdered the people, stole their sacred objects and lands, forced their children to learn a different language. Generation after generation, the villains and their descendants did everything they could to render these people invisible. But the people survived. The people insisted on their presence, generation after generation. They told their own stories. They kept telling their own stories, their own way. But the villains refused to listen. We, the settler colonizers of America, are the villains of this story. We ignore racist team names and logos. We accept misinformation by well-meaning teachers in our children's schools. We buy products and services that exploit indigenous ideas, identities, and sacred symbols. For instance, when I say Winnebago, what comes to mind? They are not a large recreational vehicle. They are an indigenous nation, originally from the area known as Wisconsin, and many were moved to what is now Nebraska. Now how about when I say Thunderbird? What comes to mind? Your first thought should be that the Thunderbird is a powerful spiritual being for many indigenous North American nations. It is not a car, it is not a golf course, a bowling alley, or software. However, you can be the Thunderbird in a 2D side-scroller video game created by Dr. Elizabeth La Ponce of the Anishinaabe Nation. Thunderbird Strike is free for all ages to download and play on any platform. We dress ourselves, our children, and our pets as, quote, Indians for Halloween and costume parties. We believe that all these stereotypes, racist images, and appropriated names are, quote, honoring Native peoples. Our settler colonizer forefathers and mothers created this problem, and we can fix it. We can change this narrative by listening to our indigenous brothers and sisters. America, land of the free. <laughs> Now land of the free, crooked cops on my street, steady harassing my peeps. Columbus didn't discover it, he was lost at sea. Therefore my folks discovered him. There were no borders when the Santa Maria came ashore. What gives immigrants the right to tell the indigenous you can't be here no more? That's hypocrisy at its finest. By hearing indigenous stories as they tell them. And by seeing indigenous peoples for who they are. Crow and Northern Cheyenne fashion designer. 
Cherokee scholar. Ho-Chunk congresswoman. Lakota rapper. Laguna Pueblo business owner. Tla'amin Nation medical doctor. Tongva artist. O.K. Owinga Pueblo writer. It's time for a different story, an intentional celebration of indigenous presence. We settler colonizers must listen and see differently if we have any hope of redemption for our contribution to indigenous erasure. Follow indigenous peoples, companies, and media outlets on Twitter and Instagram. Take a picture of this slide. Learn a new story. Challenge what you know. Buy clothing, jewelry, and other products from indigenous designers and makers. This beautiful shirt I'm wearing was designed by Tammy Beauvais of the Mohawk Nation, and this bracelet was created by Kristen Dorsey, a Chickasaw silversmith and jewelry designer. Spend your money intentionally. Read, <laughs> read, read, read contemporary indigenous writers. Listen to indigenous musicians and share their videos on your social media. Amplify indigenous voices in your circle of family and friends. thinking about the news daddy leaves it on all day through i've been thinking about the wars and to be honest i can't take it anymore i hear you every day the awful words you say but hate can't be the face of the american dream Believe indigenous peoples when they say something is offensive. When they say language and representation matter. When they ask us to be quiet and listen. Believe them when they say we are hurting them. Acknowledge to yourself and to everyone you know that you are a settler colonizer occupying indigenous lands and that you continue to benefit from that initial colonization and erasure of indigenous peoples. Start the conversation. Educate yourself and others. Becoming comfortable with my true settler colonizer identity took about 20 years. I grew up in the same messaging environment that you did. And for the longest time, I didn't see the truth. In my 20s, I was a freelance writer in Pittsburgh. And one editor asked me to cover the Lenape Nation's Thunder Mountain powwow. This was my first encounter with indigenous peoples. I remember wondering why I didn't know that native peoples were still here. I started questioning my own education and noticing that Native peoples were never in the mainstream news, and no one I knew ever spoke about them. In my 20s, so when I had the opportunity, I still had the opportunity to do some investigative journalism for an indigenous news magazine. So I jumped at the chance, not only because 
the story of an Alaska Native nation's fight over subsistence hunting and fishing rights sounded fascinating. I also wanted to learn more and start filling in the massive gaps in my own knowledge. These early forays inspired me to seek out indigenous writers and histories written from the indigenous perspective. To say that my mind was blown would be an understatement. When I say to you today that everything you think you know about indigenous peoples in North America is either wrong or incomplete, I speak from having that realization myself. Since my journalism days, I have become a scholar of contemporary indigenous rhetorics. And I spend much of my time trying to amplify contemporary indigenous voices and teaching students what I didn't know until I was much older than they are. Sitting with discomfort is, a, is an essential part of this journey to truth, as you will learn if you join me on this path. Recently, Crystal Echo Hawk of the Pawnee Nation, co-leader of the Reclaiming Native Truth Project and founder of Illuminative, wrote in the digital indigenous news outlet Indian Country Today, quote, invisibility of native peoples to most of America threatens our fundamental rights and the well-being of our children. We are invisible within government, the media, Hollywood, and in our schools. It's the reason that the president, lawmakers, and the media use derogatory, racial, stereotype language about native people with impunity. Our invisibility and erasure is seen as normal. It's past time for Native Americans to be visible. Now you know a different story. It's time to make a choice. Do you want to remain a villain? Or will you choose to see the truth of indigenous presence? How this story continues is up to you. Thank you.